Are you suffering from rotator cuff shoulder pain and you're looking for an exercise that can give you rapid relief? If you are, then this video will give you one simple trick that you can use to relieve the symptoms of rotator cuff shoulder pain. Hi everybody, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the Over 50s Specialist Physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm gonna to be giving you one simple trick that you can use to relieve the symptoms of shoulder pain that's caused by a frozen shoulder or a rotated cuff problem or any other variety of shoulder issues. Now, before we dive into the content of the video, if you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel using the link in the bottom right, because then you'll be the first to hear about our new videos when they come out. Now let's have a look at this exercise for rotator cuff pain. So what this exercise does is it works off the premise that a lot of shoulder pain, no matter what the condition is that causes it, is often caused by tightness in the muscles around the shoulder blade. Now this is a really hard place to reach. You can't really get to it to try and loosen up the muscles. And it's also quite a hard place to stretch, especially if you already have shoulder pain. So the technique I'm going to give you is not necessarily an exercise, it doesn't build strength, but what it does do is it releases tightness in the painful, knotted up, tight areas in the shoulder that most people have when they suffer from shoulder pain, and it can bring absolutely instant relief for many people. So what we're going to do, all we need is we need a what we call a lacrosse ball, which we're going to use. I'll grab one in a moment to show you. And we're going to need a wall so once you have those two things let's have a look at the exercise now so for this exercise to work all you need is a lacrosse ball which is basically like a really tough rubber ball which you can't bend um, but it still has a little bit of give to it you can get these online for a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars and what these are great for is getting knots out in the painful areas in your shoulder. So the painful area for most people when they have shoulder pain is around here, okay? So it's in this shoulder blade region. You can find your shoulder blade by shrugging up and down. And if you find a bone, you wanna find the area just beneath the bony bit here, okay? And that's the area we're gonna aim at with this ball. And you can use this ball on a wall to really nicely get some of those knots out of your shoulder and reduce shoulder pain from rotator cuff problems, frozen shoulders, and other issues like that. Let's have a quick look on a model of what exactly we're aiming at, and then I'll show you the exercise now. So if this is your shoulder blade at the back, we've got the arm bone here, we've got the back of the shoulder blade here. If we flip it round here, we've got the collarbone. So what we're aiming at is this, area here and in this area we have a very important rotator cuff muscle called infraspinatus now infraspinatus is responsible for this movement it takes your arm out to the side in a movement called lateral rotation now it's a very important rotator cuff muscle but it's also one that tends to get knotted up and tight in people who have shoulder problems including frozen shoulder rotator cuff issues, arthritis, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna show you how to do a trigger point release on infraspinatus using this ball. It's very simple to do. All you need is a piece of wall at home. Let's have a look at the technique now. So all I want you to do is with your ball, you're going to find a strip of wall that you can comfortably lean against without getting into trouble from the wife or the husband. And you're gonna take your ball and you're gonna put it against the wall here. And for the purposes of this video, we're gonna be treating my right shoulder. So then you're gonna put your right shoulder against it on the edge, and you're gonna roll yourself over onto that shoulder blade point. So I'll show you that movement again. So you start with the ball on the wall, you put the edge of your shoulder on it, you trap it, let go, and roll around and we're probably going about four maybe five inches round so we're going we're not on the shoulder itself we're on the shoulder blade now when you're on this point what you should do is slowly roll around until you find a painful knot now i found one right there so what i'm now going to do is i'm going to try and relax my arm and i'm going to put my body weight into the knot, but gently. So we're putting about probably 20, 30% of our body weight in. We're just leaning into it. Now the pain will start to get more intense. 
what you might notice is a referred pain. So for me, pushing in here is now giving me pain at the front of my shoulder and also down my arm. But I'm going to keep the pressure on. I'm just going to tolerate the pressure and the pain for a minute. And now five, 10 seconds has gone past. The pain is starting to come down. So what this means is the tight knot there is starting to relax and I'm starting to get a little bit more comfort in this area. Then what you do once you've found that that area feels better is you roll around and you try and find a new zone. And I found another one there. So I'm gonna lean hard against this one. I can take a bit more pressure now because it's warmed up a bit. Relax the arm, just let the arm relax down. Hold the pressure for about 10, 20, maybe even 30 seconds until the pain starts to relax and go away. And then I'm gonna find a new spot. And you can repeat this exercise several times per day, spending maybe two to five minutes each time. And when you finish, your shoulder should feel freer, it should feel less painful, and you should be able to have a better range of motion and carry on with your day with much less of a shoulder ache than you had before. So that's the simple trick that you can use to relieve shoulder pain from rotator cuff problems or frozen shoulder or other issues like that as well. Hopefully it helped and hopefully it gave you some relief. If you've tried it and you found it uh, helped, please leave us a comment below and let us know that it worked. If you want to get more from me, more tips like this, more um, advice on how to strengthen up a weak shoulder and release tightness, please feel free to pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it on Amazon using the link below this video. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. And I look forward to speaking to you on the next video.